Hello, Paladar88 here. Wearing a jacket without a shirt. Deal with it. And uh, this video was actually supposed to go on the Sims Underground channel, but Tim usually manages the Sims Underground stuff and I don't know how to log into Sims Underground. And where he's at right now, I guess he doesn't have very good internet connections at his home, so he can't upload stuff because he hasn't done many videos. I don't think he's done any videos on his channel since he left school, but uh, yeah, this is uh, our coverage of the full moon tattoo and horror convention. So, uh, enjoy. Hey, hello. <clears throat> hello out there, YouTube. It's Timotheus911 from Sims Underground. And today, I'm heading out to McMinnville from my hometown in Oak Ridge to go pick up Matt Bolden, a.k.a. Pilot Error 88 because tomorrow we will be at the full moon uh, tattoo and horror film convention up in Nashville. We're gonna be staying with our good friend Jake Snowdy. I think you guys remember him. And yeah, we're gonna be documenting some of the things while we're up there. I'll be back at you when we have Matt. Oh, it doesn't do the countdown. No, but I took beep, that off. Beep, Why? Beep. This was annoying. It helped. Anyway, uh, sorry. We uh, didn't get any actual footage at the convention because we were a bit busy. Yeah, we were preoccupied with everything that was going on. And trying to see everything that was there. And we fucked up. Yeah. But Our should bad. we go next year, we'll, we'll have some footage. Yeah. And we'll be better prepared. Yeah, it should have brought a lot more money. It was yeah. just everything there was just... So it, awesome. Not everything there. It wasn't that everything was really expensive. It was that there was so much... Cool shit. That just... Too much to settle on one individual purchase type of thing. But it was really... It was really sweet. Got to meet a lot of cool people. Yeah. See some girls not clothed. We got to see Thong Girl. Yeah, they were kind of close. Well, that one chick, I don't know why she didn't have any pants on. She was just walking around with no pants. She got a tattoo on her thigh. She had a tattoo. She had a new tattoo on her thigh. So she, I mean, is it cool for her? people just, all right, never mind. I'm not complaining. And then Thong Girl was there. Yeah, she was. All right. It wasn't the actual Thong Girl from the movie, though. Oh, yeah, it wasn't. No, yeah, she was much skinnier. She didn't have enough meat. Anyway, Full Moon Tattoo and Horror Convention, bottom line, was pretty excellent. Mm -hmm. It was their 10th year this year, I think the guy said it was. 10th anniversary. Yep. And we picked up not too much stuff, but we got some pretty cool stuff. Matt got some autographs, and I didn't have stuff to get autographed, so I just picked up a few small things. There were a lot of people. There was like two stands selling bootlegged movies. Yeah, I got a bootleg. Yeah, I got. I picked up two. Don't show much you got, Tim. All right. I got the two bootleg movies. I got were a copy of the movie Host. Three. The Host. Yep. The Toss. <laughs> the so. Oh yeah. It's backwards. So. Yeah. Whoops. And then I also got a copy of Motel Hell. Which I saw a long time ago on uh, Sci-Fi when I was a, a lot younger, and I really liked that movie, and I hadn't seen it since. I saw it there and was like, oh shit! And we also found this one guy who started doing like uh, art presses, like yeah, art presses for horror films essentially. And I found this really nice Cannibal Holocaust poster. We can get all that in there. That's a nice yep. I'm jelly. And right there where it says Campbell Holocaust, if you can see that, it's got the guy's uh, uh, go. signature down there. So I kind of got an autograph. Autographed. Like a skin graft. And then he gave me his business card. That. The guy's name is Joel Rob Robinson. Check him out at artpusher.net. I'd show you the back side of the card where I'm reading it, but it's backwards, and no yeah. one's going to want to take the time to decipher that. Why don't you show them your shit, Matt? Alright, you can put that link in the description. Yeah, let's try that. 
had a bunch of random posters lying around that you can just nab, and they're old, and they don't, it doesn't make a lot of sense on why they were there. There's this random Static X poster. I guess that's cool. I don't to Static X, really. I mean, like, I'm alright. And then I found a Devil Driver poster. Like, these were just laying out on a table. You could just take them. I don't know. Why? And I had some random Christian posters, like, <laughs> Skillet. Just laying there. Uh, the bootleg I got was, it was it's two different performances of Evil Dead the Musical. One really good. Yeah, we watched it when we uh, went to Jake's house for lunch and then went back. Yep. Uh, there's the Montreal 2004 performance and the Chicago 2007 performance. I thought it was pretty fun. It's a decent bootleg, you know. Uh, then we got Gunnar Hansen to sign my Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It says you're next, Gunnar Hansen. Made up to Matt. Pretty sweet. Yeah, I kind of geeked out when I met him though. It was like, sign, sign. He's like, twenty bucks. Like, and so, I mean, I don't know if he he acted kind of dickish, you know. I think a lot of the people were just like, okay, we've seen people freak out like this multiple yeah. times. I'm sick of it. So I don't think they were being dickish. I just think they got tired of seeing the same people bug out over shit. Well, Sid Haig. Who signed my Devil's Rejects was much nicer. And this says, To Matt, on our way to hell. Sid Haig. He on was our a cool way. Guy. Our way. Yeah, I'm going made to that multiple. You're going to hell with Sid Haig. Yeah, I couldn't think That's of anyone who I'd sick. rather go with. Uh, we got a couple flyers for some upcoming conventions that we probably won't be able to go to because one's in Orlando and one's in Kentucky. Fuck, we can go to Kentucky. We can go to Kentucky. When is it? Uh. July. July. 22nd through the 24th? Well, if I get a That's job like between that. now and then, I'll consider it. Yeah. Well, I guess that's all we got from uh, Full Moon Tattoo and Horror. Yeah. So, for anyone else who is plan who's planning on going to this anytime, like, in the later years, um, bring... I'd say at least a hundred bucks. Yeah. And that's if you're not planning on getting a tattoo. I mean, the tattoo artists there that were there were pretty sick, too. But, I mean, and they were... Actually, a lot of them were fairly... Like, a lot of the tattoos they were had there were fairly priced. I was expecting them to be a little bit more expensive than, than the normal price, just because it's a convention thing. Yeah. But they were actually decently priced, and there was a lot of people from out of town that came in and did stuff. So if you're wanting to get a tattoo, I'd say minimum of like 200 or so. Yeah. And if we go next year, we're going to try to go for all three days, though, instead of just a one-day thing. So did we decide that? We talked about this. Oh. Okay. Like, when we were coming back to get lunch. Okay. I don't remember that, but all right. <laughs> okay. Well... See you later.